What's up YouTube? Today we're going to talk about jigs. Alright, today I got three style of jigs to introduce you to. First is going to be the football jig. Now what's cool about the football jig is they're usually heavier. Um, you just pitch them into, into cover and it has a unique head that's shaped like a football. Hence the name football jig. Now while it's sitting at the bottom of the water, it's not going to turn or rotate or, you know, make your bait look like it's not a crawfish or a swim bait or look odd. It will always maintain upright posture. And with these, they have a, a flat bottom right here. So it'll sit at an upright position and give the, the presentation of a crawfish in a defense position. And obviously the skirt's going to flare out, you know, it's going to look real sexy. Now, why this is important is because your average jig will just rest at the bottom just like this. And the crawfish is going to be just laying on the ground and not have an aggressive posture and the bass isn't going to want to have a piece of that. So you want to have an aggressive looking crawdad that the bass is going to want to eat because it's trying to test his masculine. Alright, here we got some swim jigs. Now these swim jigs are neat because if you notice his head, it's kind of like an arrowhead and it's real flat. So it prevents getting hung up on weeds. When you're bringing it to the water, it glides down, it swooshes to the water. It doesn't have a big bulky presentation. Now it's a, it, it's a quarter an ounce, so it's got a little weight to it. You can cast it pretty far, um, pull it through some, some little pads. Again, it's got a weed guard here, you know, so it's going to stop a lot of the hang ups. Not all of them, but most of them. And one of my favorite, you know, uh, parts of this jig is this rattle ball here. You see that? Little rattle chamber. Now, why, why I think that's important is because it mimics a fish in distress or even eating. Just, or a heartbeat of a, of a prey, or a, of, a, of a bait fish. And that's what gets the bass going. And they want it, they want it bad. So I, I've, I've always caught my bigger fish with uh, with these little rattle chambers on my jigs. Now this is what it looks like with a trailer attached onto it. You probably wouldn't want to use a crawdad trailer but this is what I had on there from last season. I'd probably put a, a swim bait, some kind of paddle tail so it has a swimming motion kind of like a bluegill you know like a bluegill kind of color looks pretty neat and this is what it looks like in a white with no trailer on it. Standard jig It'll work both ways. You don't always have to have a trailer on it. Um, I prefer a trailer. Obviously, with a bigger presentation, gets bigger fish. All right, check this out. So this is probably my favorite jig I have in my jig box. Now, these are Omega Custom Tackle Jigs. All right, I've never heard of this company, uh, not until recently, probably about a month and a half ago. Uh, my buddy had introduced me to him because he, he met the CEO uh, in the gym. And he had some lures in his car, and uh, he pulled some of these out. My buddy posted them on Instagram, and uh, you can check his Instagram page out. Um, I'll have the link at the end of this video. But as soon as he gave me, I got in the mail, and uh, I opened them out of the box. And these skirts, they're, they're not your average rubber skirt. Uh, it feels like a silicone kind of thing. And it's not a rubber band that holds the, the skirt together. So your dry rot and like your skirt falling off won't happen as often with a regular jig. Now, one of the primary reasons why I fell in absolutely in love with these jigs is, uh, so for a pitching jig, which is what these are, as they sit on the bottom, this hook angle is fantastic. It's just, it's up so high. So for instance, right here, I have this teamed up with uh, an excite bait. Raptor tail chunk. It's an Okeechobee. What's the color here? Okeechobee craw. Great color. Now, what's special about these crawdads is um, their craw, their uh, their claws float. But that's not even needed with with these jigs. Just look at how high this hook is. It's it's art. 
So any any soft plastic, you put a robo worm on here, anything that has a floating kind of action to it, and it's just going to look aggressive the entire time it's in the water, like a killer. And the bass are going to want to going to want to challenge it, and they're going to they're going to strike more more times than none. You know, you toss a regular jig out there, it's going to look just look like a a dead crawfish. This is going to look like an active, aggressive crawfish trying to defend itself. And that bass is just going to suck him right down. So this is what it looks like without a, a trailer on it. Still looks good, looks neat. And this is what it looks like with a trailer on it. And I can imagine these claws are floating. That's going to look so great in the water. All right. Um, glad to have you guys here. Remember, click, comment, subscribe. Um, follow us on Instagram. Uh, bass Action, Largemouth Larry. Catch you next time. Take it easy. Hey, since I got y'all here, I might as well introduce my favorite jig trailers to toss in the water. These aren't exactly my favorite colors, but they're absolutely my favorite crawdad impersonations. Alright, so here we got the Gear Yamamoto, the Flappin' Hog. I'll go ahead and pull one out for you. The reason, one of the, uh, the reason this is on my, my, my top three is because the Gary Yamamoto custom baits are made with a high concentration of salt. You can just, you can smell them. Now, this this rubber material or, or whatever it's composed of is majority of it's salt. So they do rip and break easy. And um, you probably get like three strikes out of it before you got to change one out. But when these drop, all these little legs kick and move and cause lots of disturbance in the water. And it, it's just, it's fantastic. It gets the bass going crazy. And here, again, another Gear Yamamoto, a great, great soft plastic company. This is called the Psycho Dad. Give this one a look. Now, why I feel these are awesome is they're long enough to stick on a Texas rig. And not to mention, these claws are hollow and they're really bulky. There's definitely some kind of there's a pocket of air in here because again, these float also. So these give a, an awesome, awesome presentation under the water. And last but not least, uh, they were in the video earlier, so just to show a reference, Excite Baits, Raptor Tail Chunk, Okeechobee Craw, and. Uh, the only thing about these is these are a primary trailer. There's there's definitely there's different sizes. Um, this is a smaller size. I got these primarily for jig trailers. Um, gosh, compare it. Size of the body significantly smaller. Uh, I just feel like I'm not gonna throw these too much on a Texas rig because I have soft plastics like this. But um, these are these are great also. Lots of action. Um, the claws float, which that that in itself is fantastic it doesn't have to make much noise much move much water just the presentation of these craw claws floating in the water is going to get bass going crazy now i don't think i said the colors earlier to these but um you can go ahead and see them on there this is black red with red this is black over with red flake And the Yamamoto is, the Flappin' Hog is green pumpkin with black flake. Alright, those are my favorite jig trailers. I hope you try them out. Um, if you catch any gigantic bass of these bad boys, send me a link uh, in a comment and uh, I'll check it out. Alright, take care.